Today, I'm going to walk through some simple socket programming in Zig. Starting with a blank project, let's import net and create a standard out writer. With the import set up, let's create a stream server. A stream server, like its name describes, will allow the server to stream in connections and read and write to and from a client. The init function can take in a set of optional settings. For now, we'll set reuse port and reuse address to true. It's important to also remember to deinitialize and close the server using the deinit and close methods. We can defer both actions to keep the setup and teardown logic together. With the server now set up, we can listen in to a specific address. Using the resolve IP function, we can create an address which the server can listen in on. The stream server has a field that allows us to obtain the current address that's being listened on. Using this, let's add some logging to our application. With the server now listening, we can enter an infinite loop to accept any incoming connections. The accept function returns a connection struct which contains the address of the client and a stream to communicate to and from. Just as we opened a connection, we must also remember to close it. Let's now add a buffer to hold the information received from the client. I'll put this at the top of main for now. With the buffer created, we can read in the connection information and store that data into the buffer. Read also returns the amount of bytes read from the client, which we will store in a bytes variable. With the information from the client received, we can add some logging to print that out. Using the bytes we kept track of, we can now obtain a slice from the buffer and print out only what data we received. With the connection established, let's send back a simple message to the client using the write function. Write returns the number of bytes written to the stream. For now, we'll just discard that information. So let's start the server and using netcat, send a message from the client. As expected, the server successfully reads our message and writes back to us. So what about HTTP? What if we need to receive and send headers to and from the client? Although there is a HTTP server within the standard Zig library, we can just send the HTTP data to the client using the same write method as before. We can see that working just fine here if we were to connect to the server using a browser. And what about threads? The server is currently only synchronous. Let's extend this and make it multi-threaded. The first thing we need to do is abstract our core logic for handling each client into its own function. I'll call this handle connection. We can now spawn a new thread using the spawn method to handle every new incoming connection. And just like that, our server is multi-threaded. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section as well as liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.